What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and sorry for the terrible lighting, I'm getting bombarded by light here, it's a very shiny day in Sweden, I'm right next to my window here. I should be outside having fun, but instead I'm recording a Tekken 3 revisited video, get a life main man, seriously. But I do enjoy making these videos, and Lei is extremely interesting in Tekken 3, he's actually quite strong. And you know, this is a game that revolutionized Tekken, we have a sidestep, so not only was it 3D in graphics, but suddenly, you know, you could actually move in three dimensions. Uh, and Lei was, every character was fleshed out, and Lei, you know, in Tekken 2 he could lie down on the ground, very unique, for sure. But in this game it's where he gained, you know, these three notorious stances with their mix-ups, um, really getting great use of the Razor Rush into these mix-up stances. Uh, certainly did a lot for the character, you know, uh, just a, a mix-up monster. Uh, so every character was fleshed out a lot and Lei just turned it into this, uh, you know, his signature stances were suddenly there and he's one of the most unique characters. But he's actually quite strong in this game and mostly thanks to, not mostly thanks to, but the, a great addition is the super cop jab that is uh, lethal and we're gonna get into that. But first, I just want to, as a tribute to the developers, just these, these beautiful animations. You know, suddenly you have a side throws, and Lay's side throws are so cool. And his back turn throw, he doesn't have it still, but... Uh, I mean, it's just so beautiful. Uh, the choreography overall in Tekken, starting with Tekken 3, was just... Uh, yeah, just super fun to watch. Um, but Lei is a very evasive character in Tekken 3, like movement is extremely strong, but Lei with his uh, back 3 plus 4 to get into back turn, just chaining this together, just 3 steps, and you're all the way back to uh, pretty much the, the end of the stage. So the evasiveness and troll potential of the character is huge. And of course the back turn bullshit. Uh, okay, I'm supposed to be able to do four, like so. Uh, decent damage. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you know this. Uh, very annoying. But yes, the, the evasiveness is great. Uh, and he still has... Uh, uh, this is where he got the back one plus two, and it actually knocks down, as you can see, on a normal hit. And it has... it retains the extremely evasive properties. Um... And Lei's combo damage was great. You know, in all of the games after this one, starting with Tag 1, his combo damage is reduced and it's nothing dramatic. But in this game, like, he gets a very... Okay, I actually dropped that. He gets a very decent chunk of damage, that's not it. Recording for YouTube. Don't you just love the echo and the sound effects on those replays? I just love this manual replay. Why, why did they remove this? God, he really looks like Jackie Chan, his character model. The face. That's actually guaranteed. We're gonna talk about this jab. That jab is plus 12, so the, the bat was guaranteed if I jab him in the back. I get the back throw for free. Um, but uh, yeah, we've seen the combo damage. Um, uh, let's just talk about the jab. Um, as you can see, if I just press 1, you see the jab, it does uh, 6 damage. If I press forward one, seven damage. But if I press back one, I get a completely different jab, 13 damage. And this jab is plus 12 on hit. And it is 10 frames fast. Or is it even eight frames fast? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, 
it guarantees, uh, of course, a tw you can follow up with a 12 frame move. And standing four is 12 frames. No, 11 frames, sorry. So this is uh, 27 damage from a, from a jump. That's pretty good, right? And as I showed you, we can set up throws from here. And that's a guaranteed throw attempt. Uh, but very interestingly, and th this was hard to do, but good lay players would learn how to do this. Forward neutral 4-1 uh, on hit guarantees a standing 2. It's pretty nice, right? But did you know that forward neutral 4, if you execute it perfectly, it's 12 frames. So of course, what can we do here? Uh, a chain with three moves. The back one jab into forward neutral 4-1 into standing 2. All guaranteed from a jab. <laughs> and again, pretty hard to execute. Gotta be quite fast, but... Good lay players were good at this. I'm not a good lay player. Oh, that was close. That's forward four. There we go. All of that is guaranteed. What was that? 58 damage? You gotta see that again. Oh, you're kidding. Oops. So honestly, it's not that hard. I, I just make it look very difficult. Because I suck. And it's, it's still fucking up. Oh, for God's sake. I just want to see the damage. But I think it did 58, right? With every attempt, Paul is sliding off axis. Now, okay, 48. 53. This is Tekken 3's inconsistent damage. Like, it just... Every move on a, st on a standing hit can actually vary in damage. You see, 10? 13. Depending on range, where, where it connects, I guess. Uh, they remove this, of course, but uh, it's just very weird. But I, as you saw, I could get 53 damage. But I could swear I saw 58 as well previously. But um, yeah, so that jab is pretty insane. If you wanted easy mode, standing four. But of course, lay, good lay players would learn to do that quite effortlessly, the technique I just showed you. Or we go for a throw, uh, which is also extremely strong, of course. Um, and the Razor Rush overall has better frames than it has today on both hit and block, making your uh, making it safer to go into your well different options. You still have a 50/50 here uh, from uh, that Panther. Uh, you still have that. Uh, of course, the 50/50 you eat all the time today. Uh, from this sweep here, it's still there. So this started already, you know, in 1997. You know, this makes up that, that you still see today. And with the mid to mix it up, that drops from off axis, it seems. I don't know the proper combos. Um, and another thing that was really good with Leia was that he actually had a pretty damn good. Uh, Combo from uh, Magic 4 doing 50 damage. All you had to do was raise, follow with Razor Rush. Uh, 
And a lot of characters didn't have a good combo from Magic 4 in this game. So La Lays really stood out and how easy it was and how much damage he, he got from it. So really good stuff. And um, let's see. Oh, and his uh, his down back four sweep is super strong in this game. 35 damage when max health is 140. Like the damage was enormous, and the range is great on the down back four. It's still good today, but it just hit extra far in Tekken 3. And of course, still with the signature tracking, you know, to both sides. Uh, and you could still do stuff like this uh, into mix-ups. Um, so yeah, very strong. Uh, I think that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, with Lay in this game. So an evasive monster uh, has all the bullshit here, you know, from back turned and from grounded. Um, the frames were good, you know, the jab, Razor Rush, his strongest move, uh, has got great frames in this game. Uh, you still have a mix-up from that. Uh, yeah, and again, like, the combo damage was really good. It really stood out. Uh, so yeah, Lei was uh, quite the badass in Tekken 3. And uh, with all of these stances, you know, by God, you know, did he stand out compared to other characters in Tekken, but also other characters in fighting games. He was very complicated and very cool. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, Tekken 3 Lay. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. Take care.